Hello, I'm Naveen Ramankudi from the University of British Columbia in Vancouver, Canada. I'm presenting to you in my role as the co-chair of the Global Land Program, or GLP. The GLP is an interdisciplinary community of science and practice, fostering the study of land systems and the co-design of solutions for global sustainability. So the key words there are land systems, interdisciplinary, science and practice, and co-design of solutions. The wheel to the left shows a key figure from our science plan showing seven core areas of current focus. Urban, urban rural interactions, telecoupling, land climate interactions, land use and conflict, land governance, land change trade-offs for ecosystem services and biodiversity, and land management systems. For those outside our community, these terms may not mean much to you. So if you're curious, please go take a look at our science plan online at glp.earth. Note that we are in the final year of our science plan and are in the process of developing a new one for the next five years. The GLP is a community that has evolved through the development and evolution of the international research programs. And so we are now a global research project of Future Earth. A core task of GLP is the identification of scientific priorities and agenda setting through the synthesis of existing knowledge, meta-analysis of land-based research, and targeted workshops. In addition, GLP also provides a platform for the land system science community through networking activities, such as the organization of workshop, workshops and conferences. Our structure includes a scientific steering committee, or SSC, that provides overall guidance. We have an international project office that plays the role of coordinating and supporting the growing community, managing knowledge, and reaching out to policy and decision makers. The International Project Office is the central hub and face of the program and is currently based at the Center for Development and Environment, or the CDE, at the University of Bern. The CDE has over 20 years of experience in forging research partnerships for sustainable development in the Global South. In addition to the IPO, the GLP also has nodal offices in eight different regions of the world, which convene regional communities and activities of the GLP. We have working groups that are convened by our members to collaborate on emerging and cutting and cross-cutting topics. And finally, our individual members and teams themselves work on contributing projects that are key, contribut key contributions to our science plan and are endorsed by the GLP SSC. Uh, our flagship event is our open science meetings. We gather every two to three years in some part of the world to share and celebrate the work of our community. And more recently, since the pandemic, we've been con convening more virtual events. And last but not the least, the core of GLP and the reason for our, our existence is our membership. Our membership grew from around 450 members in 2016 to now over 2,000 members in 2021. Our members hail from more than 100 countries and approximately 40% are from the global south. So we have a very vibrant community of scholars around the world working on issues of importance to land system science and policy. They are the ones who keep the GLP alive. Thank you, and I look forward to sharing more of the work that GLP does with you next week at uh, Glassnet.